Hey, welcome to today's show. Today we're doing something different again. Doing winter's coming, so we're doing gonna do some leather work. I'm gonna make a leather watch strap. Just so you guys know, I've made leather watch straps before. That. This is out of two ounce. This is an old hide. We had ten when I was a kid. On the thin leather, you have to glue pigskin on the back so it doesn't stretch. See this one here. Four to five ounce. Again, the, uh, I found it was stretching so I just contact cement some pigskin. Now it doesn't stretch. I didn't have to glue any pigskin on there because it was about seven ounces. Okay, you can see all have different looks. This one has a black stitching here and here. It's a little, this is a new watch but it has that retro look. It's not new but it's not old. And this one has a little shinier look. Just however you want to do it. And this one here is with the old height we had 10 in the 70s from the farm. Gives us a very classy look on that watch. That piece underneath, this is about seven ounce. It's a, I'm going to check that up, but I think it's a utility hide. <clears throat> all right, here are all the things you're going to need. You don't need all these things, but it makes it easier. So, a 22 millimeter buckle. Some punches. This is the end punch. Of course you can just use it. Anything you want to make the end. You just need a sharp little exacto knife to make the curve. You can use this to bevel, bevel the edge here when you get a sharp edge. It's an eight millimeter thread. I have brown here, so I'll probably put brown on brown. Maybe I'll change it to black for it on, who knows. This is my homemade skyver thing because you need to thin down the part. Okay, we need two pieces. One 13 centimeters. And the other 12 centimeters. Move this around here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, let's cut them in there 22 millimeters wide. Okay, we're done with this piece. Let's this one's twelve. This one's thirteen. I have to mark two centimeters. Be the part you wrap around. On this one, it's two centimeters on each end. You have to skive down.
Okay, it's both done here. Okay, I would normally use contact cement, but a guy gave me a bunch of leather stuff. And here's some Aline, Aline's leather and suede glue. It's flexible, permanent, dries clear. Let's try it. It's for someone else I wouldn't do it, but it's just for me. Always cut one piece bigger. I'll let that clamp for a bit. <clears throat> there, that looks pretty nice. That pigskin gives it a little finish. And you see, I put it to here. That's, see, can you see that? That is halfway. We're going to use a nail, it might not be this one. Then we put it in here. And we glue it. That way there's enough room for the, that way there's enough room for the pin. I think this nail's too big. There we go, we got, we have that. Okay, here. Let's fold this over. My all in here, like that. be a pin. Let's just make a mark with that. Let's work on this, this is a keeper. These are drying and working on a keeper. Okay, here they are. Getting closer. So what, what I want to do is just smooth out the edges a little bit. Just use a little piece of sandpaper. And just sand them up. Yeah, sometimes I cheat and use my Dremel machine on there. But if you have one, you can use it. If you don't. All right, now we'll dye these sides. So I'm gonna make this round. You can use something like this. Use your exacto knife. I have this little punch. That's what I'm gonna use. So if you're using making some wash straps, a nice little rounded punch, it's a good investment. There, let's dye these. He gave me this, so I'm going to try it. Always do your dyeing in a tray. 
is you're going to spill. It's just how it's going to be. It doesn't look too stable. Just use a Q-tip. I like dyeing the edges a different color. It just gives it a little more detail. You don't have to. Isn't very good smelling stuff. It's gonna, well, it doesn't leach in there, but it leaches a little in the back. It leaches a little in the back, but you no know, one sees the back. Remember to do the keepers. No one's probably going to see that detail but you. It's not. This is beeswax. I just put it on there. All right, see, I measured it so that it's center here. This caliper that I might add. Okay, we're going to glue this keeper in here. Just put a little mark. Okay, now we have to cut, now we have to thread these here, here, here. I'm going to use my punch set from Tandy. Try and keep it even from the edges. Make sure it's going to catch. Yes, it is. There you go. Okay, I put this in a soft horse. Close horse, can you see that? Guy in Carmen used to do leather work. No, he doesn't, so he gave it to me. There, it's all done.
That looks pretty good. Okay, we'll just do the rest. We're all done. Looks good here. We're going to put it on a watch in a minute. If you like today's video, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. If you have a comment that will help others, leave it. Thanks for watching. Later.